So in this video, we're going to build an animated 3D book collection. And so it can look nice on a portfolio website to show books you've read or textbooks you've studied. And so the inspiration for this came from Vercel's documentation, who have a variant of this kind of 3D book animation. And then I came across this 3D book image CSS generator blog post that lets you play about with all the variables. And so what I decided to do was to implement this using React and Tailwind. But I have this blog post linked in the description if you want to read it and play about with the variables. OK, so let's break it down. So this 3D animated book has five major elements. The first is the outer book container. The second is the actual book itself. The third is the front cover. The fourth are the pages. And the fifth is the back cover. So it's super simple and let's jump straight into the code. So what we have here is a simple VDAP hooked up with Tailwind. The Git repo is linked below so you can clone that or run the setup commands, which are also listed in the readme. And so all we have here is just an outlining container a set a flex box to center it and then we're mapping over the book urls so here we've just got one url and then we're passing in the href to the book component and all the book is doing is rendering a div with the text book and so this is what it looks like right here okay so the first part of this is the outer container the book container and here we're manually setting the width the height and the margin and then we're also using flexbox here to center the book and we also have this class perspective 900. And so what I've done here is I've added an add utilities function to the plugin section. And so this will allow me to define classes, which can then point to CSS properties. And so here we have the CSS property perspective with a value of 900 pixels. And so this class enhances the visual depth of the book when it animates between different states. So in our case, rotating on mouse enter and leave. And this adds up to make the 3D animation of the book cover appear more natural and smooth. Next is the book element itself. And I forgot to mention, if you want the tooltip to appear when you hover on a, a Tailwind class name, download this plugin. It's really helpful to tell you which CSS properties your Tailwind classes are referring to. So again, in this inner book element, we are manually setting the width and height. We're also setting the position of relative, which will be used for the other elements. So the front and back cover, as well as the pages, which will be positioned absolutely to this element. Next, we have this preserve 3D class name, which has the class name preserve 3D pointing at the transform style CSS property with the preserve 3D value. And so what this does is that when it's applied to an element, it ensures that all child elements maintain their 3D positioning relative to the parent. And so rather than being flattened into the plane of the parent itself. And so simply put, it plays a critical role in the kind of CSS 3D transformations. Next, we have rotate Y30. And again, this points to the Tailwind config file. And so what this is doing, it is applies a CSS transform property that rotates the element by negative 30 degrees around the Y axis. Next, we have the transition transform 0.75s class. And again, this is pointing to the Tailwind config, which gives us the transition CSS property with a value of transform 0.75 seconds ease. And so what this is doing is this class enables smooth transitions for any transformation. So in our case, a rotation to the element it's applied to. Also on the book class, we want to add on mouse enter as well as on mouse leave. And so in on mouse enter, when a mouse hovers over the element, we want it to rotate around the Y axis zero degrees, which will essentially flatten the book to make it appear as if we're looking directly at it. Whereas on mouse leave, we want to rotate the book negative 30 degrees around the Y axis, which gives it that tilt, which will expose both the pages and back cover. So the front cover is an image element where we're passing in the href. We're also, so we're setting the width to be full the height to be full that position is going to be absolute again it's going to be positioned absolute relative to the book element and we're also giving it a border radius and then we're also giving it this shadow image shadow class and in the tailwind config file we, we can see we're extending our box shadow to give it a nice shadow so if we jump over to our app we can see we've got this front cover and then when we hover over it we're flattening it out which is caused by that on mouse enter but as you can see clearly we're missing the pages and back cover so we'll define those now next we've got the pages element we're giving it a background color of pink 500 just so we can see it clearly for the moment then we're also giving it a height of the height of the book here 260 pixels but then we're also negating two times six pixels and the reason for that is because we want to because we don't want it to be the same height as the actual book itself we want it a little shorter then we're giving it a width of 50 pixels and then we're offsetting it from the top by three pixels. And again, it's absolutely positioned to this book element here. And then finally, we've got the page transform. And again, what this is doing, it's pointing to our Tailwind config file. And so here we have the transform CSS property with the first value being translate X 
calc 200 pixels minus 50 divided by two pixels minus three pixels. And so what we're doing here is this initial translate X transforms, transformation moves the element horizontally. And so that we're taking the width of the book here. So 200 pixels, and then we're taking away the width of the pages divided by two, and then as well as three extra pixels. And so those three extra pixels give us more of a view of the back cover. The next value is rotate y 90 degrees. And so this transformation rotates the element by 90 degrees around the y axis. And so this essentially turns the box sideways, making it appear as if a thin line when viewed directly from the front as it is now perpendicular to the viewer. And then finally, we have translate X 25 pixels. And again, this translate X moves the book a further 25 pixels to the right. And this further adjustment helps in precisely positioning the element post rotation. So if we look at the app here, we've now got our pink pages, which are slightly offset from the top. Again, they're not going all the way to the bottom because we reduce the height. And then when we position it, it disappears when we hover over the element, which is exactly what we want. And then finally, we have the back cover. So we're giving it a border radius on the right side. We're giving a background color of a very dark, almost black color. Again, we're setting the height and width to be that those matching the book and the book container. We're positioning it absolutely relative to the book. We're offsetting it to the left zero. And then we're giving it this transform class. And so what this is doing is this transformation uses translate Z negative 50 pixels, which moves the element along the Z axis towards the viewer by negative 50 pixels. And so in a 3D space enabled by CSS, and so especially since we've combined it with this transform style property, this movement in the negative Z direction essentially pushes the book cover further back relative to the rest of the element, creating a sense of depth. And so here we go, we've changed the pages to white, but you can see here we've kind of got this nice back cover view to it. And again, when we hover over it, we can't see it. And so this is the final element. And so to tidy it up, what I've done is I've added in a few more URLs. I've also changed the background color and I'll leave a link below where I got that style. And then I've also added a, a grid column layout. And so if I go over here, we've now got a lot of books that we can hover over and have that 3D effect animation appear. So enjoy extending this further. I think there's a lot more that can be done here to make it just a lot cooler. And so we also implemented this book animation in the library section of Tech Prep. And so for anyone who wants to gain a deeper understanding of the fundamentals of computer science, be sure to check out some of these books. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.